is going on people welcome back johnny here oh jesus did i forbid the door that is not what i meant to do she's taking rice out. oh okay good we are playing some rim world this is the sea ice playthrough if you've been enjoying this i know it's there's not a lot happening <laughs> you're kind of on the edge because like you're just waiting for some shit to go down but it's really not going down we need to get our rice growing as well Oh, you dumb, 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 dumb. Pick it up. Back inside. Now, these are probably going to deteriorate faster than our package survival meals did. Gear. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and forbid this. And as long as she's, she's probably hypothermic, she was just outside, yeah. As soon as these go back to 100, we'll set her back to cook. Anyways, did I say, please give me a like. It does help me out if you've been enjoying this. I think I got distracted halfway through my sentence. Per use. So we're getting meals. We made eight up front. This should give us 12. We did all right with the food, and we can make, I don't know, four, four, eight more. So we have about 24 meals. This will sustain us. Not indefinitely, but... For a good long while. I'm going to have her consume some chocolate after this. Here, let's pick up chocolate. She typically eats four at a pop. Oh. Come over here. Forbid this so you don't put it outside again. Drop the chocolate. Oh, she's not holding any chocolate. <laughs> I want to pick up four chocolate. If you keep her drafted, it seems to work better because she doesn't just start doing her own thing. All right, there you go. And now if we drop the chocolate, she should eat the chocolate on the table. There you go. That's kind of, not kind of, that is a bloody hassle. But we could also maybe keep some meals in this little zone here. So if we said stockpile and critical clear meals, simple. Sadly, you can only have stacks of 10, but that's okay. They'll be refrigerated, and we don't want to re refuel this. We're still working towards a re... Oh, look, the f ah, I never catch it when it's going full steam, but it's got to be at like 5,000. We're still working towards microelectronics. What's our bio for that? She's been doing nothing but research for <laughs> fucking weeks, so you think it'd be decent. Unsightly environment. That's got to be in here. How long does this thing have? 14 hours. Yeah, she just refuses to use that table. And if we drop a meal, there you go. It's a whole lot of finagling. Oh, we're looking all right. Did I actually forbid this? Toggle automatic fuel. Oh, we just don't have any rice left. That's what it is. Let's go ahead and have her haul all the meals where they need to go. These ones are deteriorating. So maybe we'll switch them up once in a while. <laughs> and moving the table in here did make the bedroom dull again. So that's good. Look at the temps. Outside, negative 227 at almost noon. We still have the steel. We can make another heater if we need to. She's definitely going to be sleeping in the cold. Now, a lot of times if you load the game and she's sleeping, you'll get slept in the cold. I've noticed that happening because I don't think temperatures are set. But also, if you watch it here, it's fluctuating quite a bit. Like 70 is perfectly comfortable. Some would argue a little touch warm. But anyways, I guess I'm just going to let this cruise now until something goes down. I'm going to keep an eye on the power, which, okay, there it is. So even with the light running, we are charging pretty awesomely this time of the day, and it's going to go out real soon. Why did you just do that? That's because that's where the meal was. Uh, pick it up. Just the one. Come over here. Drop it. Undraft. There you go. 
And I think what we're going to do is disallow those because these ones should be eaten first. Anyway, I'm going to let it cruise because there's not a damn thing happening here. I don't know how we're going to build communicate. Oh, well, look at that. A different kind of wreck. That's awesome. In fact. Slept in the cold, stuck indoors, so we have enough to build four more fires. We need to get five steel some which way. Come summer, we're going to do as many runs as we can. So that was the mistake I made early on. I thought it wasn't important to haul this stuff over here, but it turns out it was dramatically important. Yeah, temperatures are not holding up very well here. I guess that's not entirely true. Uncomfortable. You're sitting on a bloody bed. Her. Oh, she's woken up, so I'm just having her eat a meal. Pick up simple meal, pick up both. I'm going to disallow this, so maybe she'll put one down right there. No, whatever, it's fine. So I went outside and picked up some meals, so she eats those instead of these. So two negative two thirty nine. The power is not gonna withstand that light right now either. So we'll reconnect that elsewhere. We need to get charge in here. Oh, it's so close for another round of rice, but our fire's gone out. Anyway, nothing happened in here. Well, the rice came due. I'm gonna see if we leave the meals dropped here. If she'll actually use the table, I had to turn off the light because the power croaked on us and we're not going to refuel that fire for quite a while I'd say I think we're putting rice here yes we are and over here in this corner minor break risk needs darkness unsightly slept in the cold trapped indoors what is uncomfortable is that because of what she's on top of? It must be, right? All right, let's let her go outside. It's negative 230. You can't really force her to play with any, like, to recreate here. But I can just make her stand out there. Let's see if we can get some of that to go away. All right, at 30, you got to go in, though. There you go. Did that make any difference? Yeah, it totally fixed the whole problem. Amazing. Mm hmm. I wonder if it costs 20 to refuel this. I bet it does, right? Light, flammability zero, work speed, hit points. Doesn't tell you what it costs. Well, the power is really kicking for once. Anyway, you know the routine here. She was trying to eat her packet survival meals, so we're just going to go put those outside. <laughs> yeah, and then... Uh, that's those. I want her selected. There you go. Perfect. Should be eating that chocolate, too. Needs. Yeah, we're going to let her recreate out here for a while. Holy sh... Serious pain. Oh my God, get back inside quickly. <laughs> How close did she get there? 53. So you take your eye off her for one minute and that's the kind of shit that happens. We could consume some chocolate. We don't want to do it without a table though. Are you carrying the chocolate now? Where'd the chocolate go? Pick up the chocolate, come over here, drop the chocolate, undraft. Consume the chocolate. There you go. I'm just looking for some recreation here. There you go. She only ate one because she wasn't hungry. But it is what it is. All right, anyways, we're back to square one. So it's negative 223, roughly noon, the 5th of December. We might have to see if we can mine this silver in order to get some materials, man. I think when it gets back to like 120, we should be able to... Hopefully, get out and get some of these. I think the only resources on this whole map right now are those which we can't reach. There's a slag there. 
and is that the only one? I don't remember. Okay, that's telling me there's, oh yeah, there's a, there's some over there. Yeah, there's four total on the map. That's really shit. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off her. She might have eaten without a table just to cause me a freaking heart attack. Um, I have this disconnected, and that means we're not going to have food. What you doing in there? I wonder, can we... No. One space short. Bloody hell. All right, now would be a good time to pick up four chocolates. Reforbid that. Undo that. Pick that meal up. Come over here. Drop your chocolate. Undraft. Now you're not going to use the table. Okay, draft again. Pick that up. If I undraft, you will immediately... There you go. Pow. Needs. Food and wreck through the roof. Look at that. <laughs> and just a little bit of dicking around, really. That's all right. How are these doing? 8.1%. All right, well, there's not a lot going on until she comes back or something happens here. I don't know what else to do. Moods seem to be fixed. I didn't realize how bad that hypothermia got last time. All right, she's off the bed anyway. Oh, my God, we got a wanderer joining us. <laughs> what should our faction be called? Uh, glutton, the gluttons for punishment? I don't know. How about the ice sheeters? <laughs> and this settlement. I don't know. Death Valley. There you go. Because that's how it feels. Now this person. Iron Will the Nimble. Oh. Wait. What? Well, god dang it. I wanted it bossed. <laughs> Actually a really good pawn. We have no, and look at the gear. She made it all the way down here. Negative 28. You gotta be kidding me. With three meals and a steel knife that we can smelt. That might be the five steel we need. Here's the thing. She's a really good pawn. Uh, no, but we can't like feed and house another pawn. We don't have a single spot to put somebody. We don't have a steel. I hate to say it. If there's any way I thought we could sustain another pawn. Like she's way better than our normal person here. And. No. It's pretty much out of our hands. Like we have to. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> We're going to have to build a grave. Sadly. Misk. Build a grave. We're going to try and build these. Like, I want solar panels in here at some point, too. So there's that. But we can't really go too far away. We're going to get... Pawn died. There's nothing I can do for that. So I guess as soon as she goes down, we'll go strip her. There she goes. Strip. What are you doing with these meals? All right, so hold on. Where are we at now? We're at 30. Oh, she put on her hat immediately. Now let's check this. This is going to do us to, oh my God, 17.8 versus the double set of clothes she has on now, which is getting us 10.3 plus 7.9. Well, that's 18.3. So I think we're better off in what we're carrying. But the parka is the freaking most epic of things. Are you... You are carrying meals still. Pick those up. Where are you going? You're eating one. Pick it up. Go there. We're going to really have to babysit this mood situation here. I'm going to forbid those meals that she's standing on top of. Did I get the door? I did get the door. Okay, so let's... Ah, shit. And that means she picked up the meals again. I'm gonna... Alright, that person's dead. 
Colonist died is minus three. Thank God it's not minus six because I don't know why I was thinking that. All right, let's put these meals down. And let's see if we can select the meals and forbid them. And let's disallow this door. And let's let you go about your day until you're no longer hypothermic. So we are good now until negative 29. I swear that other person was good till negative 30. I'm going to try these on just to see. And these I fear we've let sit too long. These pigskin pants were 4.3. Her current synth red pants were 7.9. Yeah. So as soon as she's non-hypothermic, we're going to have to go deal with that person. We can also bring in our smelter and see what we get for steel out of that. Oh, that was real shit because she was a really good pawn, man. What are you doing? Oh, I got you drafted. All right, so let's allow this. Let's come over here. Let's work on this grave. Let's keep... Keep oh, she's shivering immediately. We didn't even bloody do anything. Um, why won't you put her in the grave? <laughs> Oops, that was not right. What if I did that? What are you doing? You're already burying her. Okay, health. You know what? You're gonna be burying yourself if you don't go inside soon. Forbid that. Check your needs. Darkness slept in the cold. Colonist died. Temperature minus two twenty five. We could just now. We can't. We can't risk getting colonists left unburied right now. So there's that. We're really micromanaging everything there is about this game right now. All right, you can actually go bury that person now. All right. Remember when I was like, hey, go bury that person? And then let's uninstall this. We're going to smelt up that knife and see what we get for it. Where are you going? Uninstalling. Good. Then we'll reinstall this. She really likes going outside a lot. It definitely made a difference. We might be able to go get that steel now. Let's allow this. Will you smelt that? Need material. Okay. Add a bill, smelt a weapon. There's only one weapon on the map. We're going to do it one time. Later on, we'll have to pay better attention. And hope to God we get five out of this. We also have to watch our power because with these two things running, I'm not sure what it gave us. Uninstall. Oh, we got eight. All right, we can build our cook table. So we no longer need this. We do want to reinstall this. Uh, actually, scratch that. We want to build that cook table. And production. Electric stove. So I'm going to let her bring in supplies for it. But we're not going to let her construct it until she's feeling better. In terms of this. Oh, she's actually getting toxic buildup now. All right, forbid it. Forbid the outside. Gear. Good till minus 29. I swear that other person was good till minus 30. She's praying. That's good. Now that she has some room to pray. What's this? I'm going to go have her put that on, actually. Let's go ahead and see if that makes a difference. So force wear that gear no not as good force wear that force wear that come back inside well it's worth a try you probably need food by now we've been <laughs> screwing around all day your wreck's really high so let's allow the meals go stand on top of the meals pow that's how you get her to use the table and then you got to forbid the meals again right away and then we'll make sure she is... This is bullshit, man. Okay, it doesn't affect her manipulation. So we're going to go ahead and let her build this. Well, now we have a way to make meals. And let's go ahead and get our bills in on that. So cook simple meal. Do forever. Drop. 
That was yeah. We can we can do it. That's fine. She doesn't have the ability to cook. Well, we don't have any meat anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Cook a simple meal. Do it forever. Drop that one on the floor as well. Bam, bam, go. And it better be lit. It is lit at 44%, so she's not in the dark. We haven't had any food poisoning yet, which is great. Why did we only get three meals for that? Oh, she might have picked one up. She did. <laughs> okay. Well, none of our meals are rotting. That's good. We'll have her put that stuff away. All right, man. I'm going to let her sleep through the night. In fact, we can uninstall this and think about reinstalling that in the morning. We got our five steel. <laughs> Call the cops. Cheers to the patrons. Dirtle Dave, Cornel B, JT. Ooh, look. She used the table on her own. Seamus, Michael Rakestraw, Wake Mata. I want to get this installed as well. Come on. There you go. Toxic buildup. Went away. Frederick, Dapper Go, Jalison, Henry Wallace, Alexander, Tyron X, Typhios, Viking Brandon, Blaze, Dr. Ape, Jason Kane, Shiggy, President Lux, and Thalburn. You guys are all great. I love you all. Now, well, there's your toxic fallout ended for the zero difference that made. <laughs> 219. It's a little bit warmer. We've passed mid December, and no doubt that's why. I love the fact that we got a parka and a hat now. So we went from being good to like positive 38 or 40 to negative 29. You know what? I guess we'll do that next time. But next up, we'll go get that. I think we can probably make it if we wait till the warmest part of the day. Maybe not because it's winter, but we'll see. Either way, in summer, we'll be able to get out and get these and break these down. I don't know if we'll be able to get all the way up here, but we'll... We'll think about it. We'll see how these go before we make that commitment. Like, this one's not much further or not much closer. So another thing, it would have been wiser to build the base right in the center, but this is where we crash landed. So had I built it here, we'd have closer access to everything. So that was a bit of a flub as well. But thanks for watching. Please give me a like. It does make a difference. I'll see you guys next time.